we're back and today we got some crazy one piece live action news because netflix released their most watched shows from the second half of 2023 and we got some crazy numbers so without further ado let's go ahead and get started now before we jump into these numbers i also want to tell you we're going to be talking about other anime shows that made the list going to do a little bit of comparison and probably talk about netflix and the future of netflix and anime right because they're getting dan da dan i believe they're also getting sakamoto days and some people seem to be worried right so we're going to be talking about all of that in this video but without further ado again let's talk about the one piece crazy numbers right and that of course is 71.6 million views and that was from july to december of 2023 that's when you know this list is striking those viewerships which is absolutely wild okay it's number one nobody came close i believe the second place uh show was like 50 million so you know yeah one piece just destroyed in that time frame and it's probably higher now because in 2024 you know there's people probably still watching the live action Action, right so those viewerships is probably way higher now right but yeah for july to december 71.6 million absolutely crazy one piece dominated netflix which probably explains why they're so invested right they already got season two going in they already want to remake the the one piece uh anime we're gonna be talking about that too uh but yeah because the one piece anime also make the list but it's not as high as you think it would be right so we're gonna be talking about that but yeah for example yu yu haku show it came in uh and it, it, it got 16.5 million views but that released in december so you know it only had like maybe like 15 to 20 days on the list in order to attract those viewerships, which is not a lot. I would, I would be curious to see how much Yu Yu Hakusho would have gotten if it released, you know, two or three months in that time frame of that list, right? To actually get a lot of people to watch it, right? Probably I would say anywhere from 30 to 40 million, maybe 20, 25, I don't know. But I, I don't think it would have gotten close to, to One Piece, right? I think definitely One Piece is on a whole other level when it comes to live action. Uh, now, for the next one, we're going to be talking about here, like, anime that made the list. And we got Baki Season 2 that released in July. It came in on 86 uh, with 14 million views, which I think that's great, right? Uh, I mean, Netflix is pulling those kind of numbers. Imagine what something like Demon Slayer on Crunchyroll is pulling, right? Uh, next, we got My Happy Marriage. This is probably one that not a lot of people even know about or expect it unless you're like heavy into watching anime on Netflix. But yeah, that came in on 95 with 13.2 million views. And that also came out in July along with uh, Baki, right? Next, we got Blue Eye Samurai that came out in November and it had 11.6 million. Now, I don't know if this like an actual anime it is kind of like a cartoon samurai i thought i just included it on the list just to get a little bit of more data of you know this type of you know anime cartoon type of stuff in in netflix right in the type of numbers that they're pulling right uh next of course we have to have demon slayer you already know demon slayer is going to be everywhere it came in at 175 and 191 because it's different seasons but it wasn't like the latest season like the you know the uh source myth uh village arc right it was like entertainment district and i believe it was like season two or whatever but you know they got nine nine million and 8.5 million respectively each uh next we got record of ragnarok season two now that came out in january so you know it, it tried from january to like uh june and then july to december but it still made the list for you know the july to december part and it had 8 million views so it wa I, I, I want to see how much it was all together i'm probably going to look up the list and maybe make it short but yeah 8 million i think is, is quite well especially since it came out in january i think that's fine uh now this is one that actually surprised me we got castlevania nocturne season one that came out in september and it came in at 215th place with 7.6 million views that to me is absolutely crazy I love the Castlevania, but, you know, I could definitely see Netflix looking at these numbers and saying, well, is, is making more Castlevania worth it? Maybe with, you know, 7 million viewers, maybe it is. I don't know. But I would think that they will probably try to find something else, right? Because, I mean, just look at all these other anime that got more uh, viewership than Castlevania. And some of them are even older than Castlevania, right? Remember, Castlevania Nocturne premiered in september right so yeah i don't know how they feel about those numbers but i would think they would be worried right next we got jujutsu kaisen season two and that came in with seven million now i don't know if they were you know airing jujutsu kaisen season two day and day like Crunchyroll, but hey seven million i think is respectable right uh, next we got kangan uh, kagan ashura i haven't seen this one season two 
came out in September and it had 7.3 million views. That is absolutely wild as well. Okay, so now you're probably wondering where is the One Piece anime at, right? Where did the One Piece anime placed in this list of Netflix, right? And One Piece is blue. I think that's just like one of those recap movies came in at 554 with 3.8 million views. Now that's the first time that the One Piece anime, you know, showed up on the list and then the next one after that was one piece 3d y uh and that came in at 679 with 3.3 million views again this is just like movie recaps probably people that were you know watching the live action they're like you know let me check one piece out right i mean a lot of the one piece seasons didn't make this uh list in that time period but you know they were just really far back and if i'm just gonna make a list on that you know i'm gonna be here all day right again this list has over like 3,000 shows but a lot of the one piece didn't make the list they were just really far back and it's probably because you know the live action was probably so popular that people were kind of like invested and they wanted to go back and see the source material probably explains why the manga sold so much in 2023 in the u.s probably because again the live action people found out that you know one piece as an anime has a manga and i would say probably the manga is the best way to consume the medium i mean again just imagine having to watch over a thousand episodes. That's That could be very uh, overwhelming, right? But yeah, those are the numbers. Now, speaking of the numbers, right? Where do you think Dan Dan, Dan and, you know, Sakamoto days? Because that's rumored to be coming into Netflix. Some people might be, you know, mad about that. Uh, I think those anime are going to do very well, right? Because again, Netflix is a huge platform and they are definitely investing in a lot of anime uh content right because they're probably seeing all these numbers and they're saying whoa wait wait a minute right we need to start investing in anime because it seems like they can definitely pull some viewerships in right and again when i was going through the list nothing on that list was really mainstream right like we didn't get none of the you know like the demon slayer or jujutsu kaisen's day one on netflix just imagine if they would have gotten those anime day one exclusive on netflix they probably would have seen way higher numbers right so i'm curious to see how dan dan is going to perform if i had to guess and throw a number out there i mean just looking at for example something like my happy marriage that i don't think has a big of enough fandom to be compared to dan dan uh, and that pulled 13.2 million views i would say it will be safe to assume that dan dan is probably going to p to pull at least 20 million i'm gonna tell you right now I'm going to be there day one for Dan Dan Dan, right? Like, I haven't read the manga. I only read, like, the first chapter just to get an idea of what it was about. And just from the trailer, the trailer got me hyped. The manga, the chapter, I wasn't really too hyped for it. And again, it's just chapter one, right? But when I saw the trailer with the music and the acting and the action and, you know, how good the animation looked, the color... I was already, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be there day one. So I'm going to be one of those numbers for Netflix, right? And then with Sakamoto Days, I have read, I think, like maybe five to ten chapters. But again, I don't like to read manga as much as I like to watch anime. So I really am looking forward to that anime when it comes out. And again, if that comes out into Netflix, I know Sakamoto Days has a pretty large fandom for something that doesn't have an anime, right? Once they get an anime, the fandom just explodes in popularity. We're probably going to see the manga sales skyrocket as well. So yeah, I cannot wait to see how Dan Dan and Sakamoto Days perform on Netflix, especially if they're exclusive. Because now we don't have to worry about Netflix jail, right? They're going to be there day one every week. They've been doing that for all of these anime, right? They learned their lesson with Record of Ragnarok, right? But yeah, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. A Netflix investing in anime and more anime content. I love to see it. I mean, I, I love Netflix because it's just so easy to use. It's on my PS5. It's on my room upstairs. It's on every TV in the house. So I can, you know, watch something downstairs, go somewhere else. And I can, I can just have that ease of use, right? And that's something that I absolutely love, right? But yeah, let me know what you think about these numbers. Let me know, you know, what you think about all of this. Uh, I can't wait to see, you know, the One Piece remake, how that's going to perform. Because, you know, with the live action, if they release the live action season two, which again, look at the crazy numbers, alongside the remake of the anime, which I hope they really do that. So, you know, people can just transition really easily, right? They'll be like, oh, wait, One Piece, like, you know, a new anime remade with modern animation, ho hopefully better pacing. And they can just start watching that. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. And like always... Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Bye.